Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena if you're new and if you're not, thanks for coming back and viewing my content. Let me know down in the comment section what else you all would like to see. Um, in today's video, we're going to kind of switch it up. I'm kind of doing a talk through video on how I got my car with not the perfect credit. Now, I only paid $250 down for this car and yeah, I know what that is so cheap, but I'm going to kind of show you all how I got through so what i'm going to do first in order to kind of give you all a little background i'm going to play the commercial right here so that you all can see it i had a car with an app i don't mean i shopped for a car i mean i went from i want a car to here's my car using an app let me show you how that works because it's new and it's fair it's not a loan or a lease or a rental fair is something completely new I want a car. You want a car. So you use Fair to shop for your car, get approved, set a payment, all from your phone. First, show Fair who you are. Here's who I am. All you need is your driver's license to get pre-qualified right here in the app. It only takes a second and doesn't affect your credit score. Choose a monthly payment that works for you. The app analyzes cars in your area and selects just the ones with a fair price. So you always know you're getting a great deal. Then pick the one you want for now. You're not locked into a long-term commitment. You can trade up, try something else, or return it whenever you like. That sounds fair, doesn't it? Sounds fair. Just make the all-in monthly payment for as long as you keep the car. Fair guarantees that you can't do better with a comparable loan or lease. And every car comes with a limited warranty, routine maintenance, and roadside assistance included. You can even add fair insurance. Just sign your name and pick up your car. That's it? That's it. That's fair. Okay, so now that you all kind of have a little gist of the app, um, I'm just going to kind of walk you through what it looks like. So when you first open it, it's going to say shop cars and it's going to show you different cars in your area. You can always change the location at the top with the zip code and you can specify your budget. So on the top, there's going to be a toggle from zero to about 300 to 50 and that was your monthly payment. That is not your down payment, that's your monthly payment. Once you select the car, it's going to show you the actual amount for the down payment and if you talk keep toggling it down it's going to show you what your monthly payment will change the less money you put down the more your monthly payment will be now when i got my car i picked a car that was 500 dollars down right and they were running a promotion for super bowl 250 dollars off of your down payment and that is how i paid 250 down so on the app, you won't pay until you go and pick up the car. So once you put in all your information, it does a credit check right before your purchase. So all throughout the thing, it never asks you for your verification of your income or anything like that or pay stubs or anything like that. And so you will then put in your information where you live. Sometimes you can get the car delivered to you if you're not in the area or you could just have you know go get it picked up when i went to go pick up my car they called me and they said hey serena do you need a lift to get to the the dealership that i went oh. to yeah they sent me to evolution cars i got there i had my app ready and i at the end of checkout you can add insurance and all of that now a con with this is you will never own the car because you're leasing the car obviously so you can have the car for as long as you want. Um, a pro with it is that um, there's no penalty if you want to just walk away from the car. Okay, so let's say that tomorrow I decide, hey, I don't want this car anymore. This car is not for me. I found a better car. I would just go and return that car to the dealership that I got it from. And then I can go and get a new car from them as well through the app. Or I could just walk away from the car that's fine and I would just pay for the days in which I've used the car for. And you can see all the terms right here on the side as well. Um, yeah, so when I got there, I didn't have to fill out any additional paperwork. I just sent the dealership a copy of the insurance through FAIR and um, gave them my ID, of course, so that they know I'm not picking up somebody else's car. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I drove away with the car. It comes with two maintenance 
routine maintenance um, coverage with a zero dollar deductible meaning you have two times to go and get maintenance done and then after that you would be paying out of pocket now um, when it comes to the mileage you have to select how many miles you are going to be using um, that car for so I just picked 10,000 it was like an extra six dollars a month for that uh, you can add on additional miles later on it doesn't matter but I picked 10,000 because I feel like 10,000 is like you know pretty decent and then I could just take it back the car and then get a new car and do another 10,000 you know because it's not a permanent thing when I picked up the car it only had 68,000 miles on it so it was a pretty new car off the lot and I'll show you all the car now so this is my car this is my baby she's a 2015 Chevy Spark and basically I just use it for DoorDash and for pleasure. Now they don't have a partnership with DoorDash, but they do have a partnership with Uber. So if you are an Uber driver or an Uber Eats driver, they do have a partnership with them. You can um, just put your account information in there and they will take like a certain amount of your earnings out each week for it to be paid for. So let's say that I made $300 that week in Uber then they would take $50 of that out to go toward my payment and so on and so forth. When you're doing it for personal use like me, it's going to have um, a set date in which they're going to drop that out of your bank account. So mine is always on the 15th and with my car payment and my insurance, it comes out to $3.30 a month and that's all I pay for for the car. Um, it takes $17 to fill the tank. As you all can see, it's a pretty small car, um, but I love it. It's perfect for me and yeah that's basically how i did it and yeah this video was kind of short but i hope you all kind of got the gist of what i meant i didn't want this to be long and drawn out because i mean it was pretty simple i want it to be just as simple for y'all i'm not making any commission off of this video i just wanted i just thought it was pretty cool something that i'm trying right now that i wanted to let you all be aware of and so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this video let me know if you have any questions down below and thanks guys